This story is pretty unpredictable because I'm surprised that we're already leaving the kingdom. The kingdom sucks. And honestly, I'm glad that we're leaving to go to Yaguma to see, you know, our mother's homeland and stuff like that. Maybe we'll learn about what spirit arts is because that's the distinction between what we're doing and what everyone else in the kingdom's doing. They're using fancy magic incantations, but Ryo just like, he just knows. His magic system is different. Spirit art. It's called Spirit Chronicles. Now, in the kingdom, there are some interesting things happening with the, uh, I guess, behind the scenes politics. Two separate fa families. There's like the Arbor family and like, uh, what was the other one? No something family. Basically the one with Stuart, right? They are planning a coup or they kind of mentioned like the shift, you know, the royal family is like weaker or some shit. So I wonder if by the time that like we leave the kingdom and we go somewhere else, maybe the kingdom's gonna have its own set of issues that's gonna be so bad. And then there will be like a great moment where we come back and like save the kingdom. And I think that will be like a very typical cliche of creating like a power fantasy. A kingdom that like shit on us, that's in need of our help and we come back to save them. Who knows? Christina, she's just chilling. She's just observing. She's stopping a hater after episode one. Flora? Has a debt she can't pay us back. Like multiple times we saved and she hasn't done shit yet. Alphonse, kill yourself. Stuart, I hope you die by the time we come back. Let's begin today's reaction. And we're how to twin now, not Rio. Beltrant is where we came from. Garlac. <laughs> Other kingdom, sure. Bounties! Is there any important bounties here? Faces that maybe I should be memorizing? Maybe this guy? I don't think it's necessarily him, but he does have that long, you know, Sephiroth-like hair. Remember the guy that, you know, was flying away and said, you know, like, a, what's it called? Spirit art or something, but... If it's not him, I don't know, but maybe it's important to kind of, like, keep a mo note of, like, these faces. <laughs> Oh, the assassin. That's right. They're sending an assassin after us. It's gonna be a beast girl. She's trailing us. Nice. We got some salted smoked cured meats. Beast girl. No, 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 no. She's around. Forbidden Appa. Forbidden Appa theory. Apple bad. The fact that she's in the frame with the Appa means she bad. The assassin girl. Okay. Rizerote. Noodles. Okay. Rizerote. Will she be part of our harm? Who knows? Basically ramen. Looks good. It does. Super pasta. Umai. I wonder if the assassin girl has been given like money to buy food. Like a very cute and funny way to kind of like, I don't know, domesticate her. <laughs> if she's like a scary assassin, but her stomach starts grumbling and we need to feed her soup pasta. Where is she? Hey, another Isaka character, maybe? No, I think that it does matter because. Um, even though Michan wasn't in the bus with us and pretty much disappeared before we got here, meaning that she most likely got isekai there was other people in the bus. There was like a little girl that was like blushing, looking at us. And there was like another bigger girl that I thought was Michan right beside her. So there's extra characters that I'm going to assume also came in, right? Mother. Hmm? We're going to a grocery store? The guild. The guild. The more Japanese foods. Cool place. Okay. 
Yagumo. She thirsted for them Japanese people. Rote. That's his rote. But you're just rote? What the hell is happening? Another new person getting clapped. And I don't feel bad about it because, again, you were warned. Before you typed that, you saw a pop up. And what did it say? Ask. And you go on a two week vacation. See you in two weeks, buddy. I don't feel bad about that at all. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's just crazy, like, how many times, like, people, like, will continuously fuck up over and over again. Like, it's unreal. Like, a whole ass notification pops up. And they're like, nope, I don't care. Click skip. Did you watch the documentary? Do we fit bad? Just unsubscribe. I'm subs. It is what it is, man. Don't worry, Rote, right? Not Riz Rote, just Rote. Cheese. Yo, these cheese wheels? Like a, like an actual, what's it called? Is it called Parmesan? No, Oregano? I forget. There's like a special type of cheese. It's like a huge wheel thing. Shit goes for $5,000. It's mind-blowing how expensive these che like cheese wheel wagon things are in Europe, man. This whole guild is like a mall. Barley, pasta. Cool. You did a shopping. I'm strong as fuck. Oh, Mr. Muscles. That's what she was giving us. Not that fancy. Black tea leaves. <laughs> what is it? Tea leaves from Liz. They don't really care about customer service here. So far, everyone in this place has been really cool people. Like, uh, we haven't met that many new people yet, but so far, no one's been just an absolute asshole. Everyone's just been so kind compared to the kingdom. Where's the assassin girl? Oh, you're Liz Rote? The Lotte, I'm like Lotte, Liz Rote, but you're just Lotte, is there a Liz? No, this was Liz Rote the entire time. The actual person who created noodles and shit just works casually? Is this basically like the CEO of a company? Working as like a cashier for fun because that's how much they care about like their work and just wanted to give a good experience. Cosette. Cosette and Rotte. Cool. She truly cares. Rotte is just a great person. Oh, assassin girl. Nah, 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 nah. That's a bait. That's a trap. <laughs> Bitch. I thought that she was like passed out hungry or something. And it was going to be some cute moment. Nah, she was really trying to deceive us there. Uh oh. Cute bunny girl? Fox girl? Korose. Got you. Oh, we can just do that? What you got next? Yo, the animation today is way better than last episode. Okay, now she's buffed. <gasps> what? So beast people have like an additional like passive buff. They're just physically just better already. Hmm? Oh. Yo! Oh. Okay. What? You're a fucking assassin! You can't come at us to kill if you don't have the resolve to die yourself. You're not a professional. But then again, this is like a 
10 year old girl. <laughs> of course, he's not a fucking professional. It's just dumbass kid, bro. If this is like assassin mode and this is like, I don't know, real mode. Was her eyes always like that? Oh, it was like this. I don't know. Maybe this is also triggering some sort of like past event because she's pinned down like this and it's happened before in her life. I don't know, but she's a fucking terrible assassin, bro. I feel bad. Let's knock her out. This doesn't look suspicious at all. <laughs> we pinned down a girl. She just cried for her mommy. We fucking knock her out, strip her of her belongings, tie her up. Oh yeah, this doesn't look suspicious at all. A caller. Oh, maybe she was forced to do this and she's actually a good person. And now we're gonna feel bad. <laughs> How convenient. Bro can just do anything. All right, spirit arts, baby. I think, I'm not sure. So is it that girl? It might be, right? Cause again, there's the two girls right here. Who knows which one the one on the right was. I thought that could have been Micha, but no, it's not. It's just the same hairstyle, but the one on the left definitely is the beast girl. Ooh. Latifa. What a terrible spawn point. This beast girl slave. Um, oh my, oh my. Stupid. Dude, I thought Alphonse was a menace, but Stuart just keeps getting worse and worse. Oh my god, this demon. And by the time that we come back to the kingdom, I wonder how much of a time, you know, t uh, a time skip we're gonna have. Like, you know he's just gonna be the shittiest noble when we come back, man. That's your real name. So she's gotten her memories back now. Interesting how everyone gets their memories back, like, later on after they've, you know, lived for a while. Piece of shit. Older, bro? But you're a human, and she's a beast girl, meaning this is like weird. Like, he's got like a fetish for this. And it, he wants a beast girl to say, like, Onisama. He, he, he wants like a little sister that'll say big bro. Oh, that's so weird, bro. No. No. The submission caller. Stuart can die. I hate Stuart so much. Bruh. In the web novel, Stuart's dad fucked Latifa's mom? Yeah, we should just carpet bomb that kingdom. That kingdom that we came from just sucks. Well, it's two main families. It's, it's, it's the two main shitty families, right? But like, god, bro, they just... They're just so despicable. Wakey, wakey. I took the collar off you, though. Trauma. Beltran sucks. That's a good thing. Wow, Haruto is so cool. My hero. Shut the fuck up, bitch. I'm sorry. Stuart. Stuart's family. Stuart's family. They never told her his name? Wow. They kept her out of everything. Stuart. Nah. He's a piece of shit. Stuart. The gray hair guy. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Probably? Probably? No. She's probably gonna follow us, right? I would never go back home if I was her. Oh shit. Oh I was so far telling you that wow, this 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 place is nice. It's not like you know the other place. 
It's chill. <laughs> well, well, you see. <laughs> they have a slave market just for these people. Ooh. Yeah, we should get out of here too. Ooh. Got nice pasta though. The wilderness. We got like a demi-human sanctuary there. Let's go there. And east is where Yagamo is too. It's on the way. Probably just gonna follow us in a really cute way. Oh, look at those ears perking down. Oh no. We got a fear in pasta, man. Where's she gonna go? You're on the way. Oh. <laughs> Wow. Come on, look at her ears, bro. They're, they're so sad. You're different, I can tell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes. I think you're gonna feed her pasta, bro. I think you're gonna feed her food and take care of her and we're gonna go all the way to fucking Yagama together, bro. Yes, that's fair. I wouldn't trust her either. No. Put on yourself if you want to. Oh, she's saying like... The collar should be put on me so that you can order me around and you can feel safe. That's the length that she's going here. If it means following you. Oh my god. That's like the saddest thing with victims of dependency. Where you're always just in an environment where you're taking orders and you need that. It becomes like Stockholm Syndrome. And once you're liberated, you don't know what to do. That's why there's so many people in toxic relationships where they'll never ever leave. Because... Being abused and having someone there is better than like the crippling isolation that they'll feel because they don't know what to do by themselves. That's like really sad and twisted psychology. Plus she's a child. That too. She's a straight up toddler, bro. <laughs> That's very Rezero Emilia-esque. <laughs> very cute sound. Latifa. Haruto now. Okay, we're still going real here. All right, we picked up another girl. <gasps> Sandwich. Make one for her. There is the rumbling stomach. Yeah, it's for you. Classic black swordsman Kirito. Risen girls while eating a sandwich. Yep, he just keeps getting away with it. needs to die dude Stuart like I think Stuart is like the most hated kid now not Alphonse Alphonse is up there Stuart actually sucks more than Alphonse this is crazy Alphonse got power crap Back at the Shitty Kingdom? <gasps> Serio! Letter! And I wonder what Serio's gonna be up to in this kingdom just by herself. Is she just chill? Hopefully nothing bad happens. <gasps> Pasta! How is it what spaghetti is? Maybe we're gonna slowly realize that we're both isekai characters. Itadakimasu! Hey, you don't say that shit here. You say that in Japan. What's going on? Yeah, how does she know that? Mm, he's like a character. Oh no, she has nightmares. This poor kid, man. And she used to have a brother. <laughs> I, 
how much hints do we need to be given at this point? <laughs> I think it's barely, very up. This is the last nail in the fucking coffin, okay? I am an isekai character. Tokyo. Oh, no way. Could she be? Exactly. You can't leave. Bundled her up in her robe. Never mind, she was holding on to it. Oh, she remembers. Does she look thirsting after? <laughs> I mean, he does look kind of cool, huh? 20 year old university student just looking out the side of the window. Ikemendo. Wow, so handsome. She wants to call you big bro. I can't tell if she actually had a big bro back in the day. Or the whole Oni-chan thing is relating to Ryo that one time she saw him on the bus. Maybe a bit of both. Oni-sama. You gotta say sama, like Miyuki. Yep, that's a terrible spawn point. Okay, I'm your big bro. What the fuck? I feel like... Yeah, if there's... This doesn't really need to happen, right? This can be just off-screen, like, PowerPoint slide, like, montage that we're traveling. I don't think it's that important. A lot of cool areas. A lot of time has passed. Her tail's wagon! What's that tree? Looks important. Is that the wilderness soon? So only Yagumo people can see the big tree. There's something very interesting about that tree, huh? Only he can see it, and because he's probably from Yagumo. Spirit arts? Spirit arts? Uh, some secret. Hang on tight. What is it? More girls are showing up soon, maybe. <laughs> we can cure her nightmare too? Wow. Motherfucker, when did you- why did, Okay, maybe you have to do it every night. It's just funny for me to imagine that like, he had this the entire time. And he let her suffer the entire time. And now he's like, alright. I'll fix it. It's, 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 you gotta do it every night, right? If you don't, if, if this isn't like every night cast, that's fucked up that he waited this long. Oh, the wind. Yo, someone new's here. New what? Waifu. Wolf girl incoming. Who is it? Off screens. Mm, classic cliffhanger. And that is today's episode of Spirit Chronicles. And we're on a journey right now to the east. Go back to our homeland, Yagumo. But before we get there, made a little detour. Met, met like Lisa Rote. It's kind of cool that Rote was such a nice, kind person, just, you know, doing just rank and file employee stuff, despite pretty much being like the boss, because that's how much she cares about customer service and making sure that people are having a great experience. So Rote is pretty cool. Who knows if we're ever going to see her again, but maybe, maybe we will. So we have more reason to hate. We have way more reasons to hate Stuart. Stuart sucks. Stuart needs to die. Like, oh my god. This whole revelation that Latifah was the girl from the bus. And she got born as pretty much like a slave because Stuart's dad fucked the beast girl and now they have a slave. It's just, just beyond immoral and corrupt. There is no redemption for Stuart and I can't wait. When we go back, inevitably, we're going to be dunking on them. I'm sure the revenge is going to be great. In fact, I think the Latifa should be the one to do it. I want Latifa to slit, you know, Stewart's throat instead of uh, Ryo. I think it should be her revenge. And we had a bit of traveling. Actually, a lot of traveling. I think it's better that... Who knows how important, you know, these details were. I heard that there's, like, a lot of cut content for Spirit Chronicles. But having a montage to kind of, you know, cover all the traveling is pretty decent. And the tree here. Only... Ryo can see it. Why? Has to do with spirit arts? Has to do with Yagumo identity? 
I'm not sure. And we got a new person that's going to show up. I feel like it's going to be a wolf girl waifu. That's it from me. If you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.